What's going on people, it's your boy Ricardo and welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm giving you five crucial tips that are gonna help you improve your carp fishing photography. So without further ado, let's crack on with the video. Right, so tip number one for me, and probably the most important tip throughout this whole video, is learn how to operate your camera correctly. This is not only gonna save you time when you've got the carp on the bank, but it's also gonna allow you to get a lot more creative with your shots. I have so many people message me about the sort of setups that they should buy, and they really wanna go and break the bank. But to be honest with you, you can get some cracking photographs from some really entry level photography setups. So yeah, make sure you know how to operate your setup properly and that is gonna help you shoot better imagery. Tip number two, chill out for a minute, refocus and prepare all of your equipment. You've just potentially caught the carp of your dreams. You don't wanna be rushing about looking for bits and pieces when you've got the carp on the bank. So make sure you take some time to prepare all of your equipment and get everything in position ready to do your photographs. This will include things like checking that you've got enough battery life on your camera, enough memory card space, and also preparing your landing mat, filling up your water bucket, zeroing your scales, all of those little bits and pieces that add extra time when you've got the carp on the bank. Getting all of these bits and pieces prepared before you take the carp out of the water is not only gonna save you time, but it's also gonna allow you to relax because you know you've got everything prepared and you're ready to do your shots. Tip number three, select an appropriate background. I see so many shots on social media that have been destroyed by poor preparation on this. And what I mean by that is people have got disturbing objects and things behind them that ultimately distract the viewer from the actual main focus of the image, that being the fish. So for example, there could be a black bin bag hanging from a tree behind you that you haven't removed from the shot before doing your stills. And then when you actually look at the image, you'll notice that that becomes the main center of attention. So yeah, just take a little bit more care on setting up your shots and selecting an appropriate background and that is definitely going to help you improve your imagery. Tip number four, do some test shots. So whilst you've got the carp in your retainer or still in the net, this is a perfect opportunity for you to get in front of your background and take a couple of shots just to get an idea of what the image is going to look like. I see far too many people again rushing to do their pictures and we spend a lot of time on the bank as anglers so the last thing you want to do is spoil your images by poor preparation and rushing around. Another good pointer for this tip is to make sure that your shots are in focus. The worst thing is to slip the cart back, look back through your images and notice that you didn't focus your image correctly. Now if you're like me, I use manual focus which basically means I have to control the focus via the focal ring on the front of the lens. You can also use autofocus but I personally prefer to shoot in manual because I want to make sure I've got the exact part of the image focused correctly. A little trick that I do, especially when doing self-takes, is grab a couple of bait buckets and put them in the same position that myself and the carp are going to be in. I then manually focus those bait buckets, and once I take them out, I know that the focal length is correct. So when I come back into shot with the carp, I know the carp and myself are going to be at the right distance and sharp as anything. And tip number five for me, a tip that I think a lot of people forget about when they're shooting carp fishing photographs, is never forget portraits. So what I mean by that is a lot of people are shooting their images in a landscape orientation. Flip your camera 90 degrees and you'll be shooting in a portrait orientation. And the reason why you wanna shoot those images is because they fit onto the Instagram platform a lot better than the landscape ones do. So if you upload a portrait shot, you'll notice that when you click on the button in the bottom right corner, it just sits a lot nicer than a landscape image would. So yeah, a little tip there to make sure that you've got the right style of images for the social media platform that you're uploading them to. And an extra tip for this video is to do a little bit of touching up in a post editing piece of software. I have a recommendation, I'm always using Adobe Lightroom to enhance my imagery. That's because it's free and it also is very flexible. You can adjust multiple settings on that app and it allows you to enhance your images even further. I won't go into too much information on the app, just give it a quick download via Google Play or the App Store and you'll notice real quickly that that app is gonna make your images look even more epic. 
So there you have it guys, my top five tips to help you shoot even better carp fishing photographs. I hope you've taken something from this video. If you have, please hit the like button, smash the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and I shall see you in the next one. Sweet.